if you want to be a faster runner, you have to follow a program. There's no like, oh, I'm just going to you know, run by feel. You can do that, that's fine, but you're not going to sustain it. You're not going to get the best out of yourself. It's like growing a garden. You can't just go, oh, I want to have a garden. I just want to put seeds everywhere and just throw it around and water it whenever I want. You can do that if you want, but you won't get the best results if you follow a gardening program, if you follow the templates that work. If you want to be a faster runner, you've got to follow a basic program. And using a Garmin watch, so you can go hard on the hard days and easy on the easy days. Because if you go by feel, you'll go too easy on the hard days and you'll go too hard on the easy days. You go too easy on the hard days and you go too hard on the easy days. You've got to have the Garmin, you've got to go by the numbers. It's as simple as that. So follow a basic program and get your Garmin 310XT, that's my favourite. And that's as simple as that. And you'll be a fucking better runner if you follow a basic program. You can spend the next five years or 10 years or 20 years just running around in circles, never really achieving what you could. This is like throwing the seeds in the garden with no structure, no seeds and whatever. Just, yeah, throw it in there. It should be all right. I'm just going by feel. I'm just going to throw seeds in the garden and they might sprout. might be the wrong time of year, but I don't know. And I'm just going to water the plants and I think they're you've got to follow programs. You've got to follow a template if you want the best results. You don't have to, but if you want the best results, get a basic running program, get a basic gardening program and follow it. So I went for a run just before. You can't run by feel. You've got to run by the garment. Because if you're running by feel, you're going to do your head and you're going to go, oh, I'm not really, not feeling too good or, or oh, I haven't run for like, me, I haven't ran for like three weeks, first run today on the road. The Garmin just tell me how I'm doing. Because if you're going by feel, I was going, my head was going, oh, you're running in heavy shoes, you haven't run on the road for three weeks, you know, it's hot and humid here in Bangkok, you, you know, you can't do it. But the Garmin, the Garmin doesn't lie. So I just followed the Garmin and just fucking smashed it, around a 328 and a 316. And uh, it's just interesting to note that as a reminder, just the body's going, oh, oh this, is, this is good, but the mind will say, oh, no, this is not good at all. But the body's going, yeah, it's fucking cane it, but the mind's you know, controlling you. So always run by your Garmin, don't run by feel. If you run by feel, you either go out too hard or you go out too easy when you're doing intervals. Most time in races, people go out too hard because they're all excited at the start and they're running real fast. And you're like, slow down, slow down. Go, no, I feel good, I feel good, I'm just going to keep with it, I'm just going to feel with it. And it's like, yeah, you're going to blow up in the next K. So you've got to run by the Garmin, run by numbers, and that's what matters when you go, if you want to run faster, run by the Garmin. If you're running by feel, you'll do your fucking head in. Run by the numbers.